Hi there, good evening. Who doesn't love a good chocolate candy bar, right? Well, I've been making a healthy, sugar-free, um, low-carb, probably would even fit into keto chocolate for years. But I figured out a way to make it taste just like a crunch bar. Do you remember the crunch bars, blue, red, white, and blue wrappers? Those things are amazing. So let's do that, all right? You're gonna start with coconut oil and you want it to be kind of soft. Um, coconut oil melts pretty easily, unlike, you know, other butter or something like that. Um, when we have ours up in our pantry, because it's warm in there, it like becomes completely liquid. But during the winter in our cupboard out here in the kitchen, it is hard as a brick bat. So you might need to microwave it a little bit. You don't want it to have chunks because you don't want chunks of coconut oil in your chocolate, all right? So I'm gonna only make a half batch because I've already made some earlier to sample, although I guess you really can't have enough chocolate, right? Can't have too much of that. But so I started with a quarter cup of my coconut oil and to that I'm adding my favorite Dutch cocoa. This is the last of it. We get it at Costco and they won't have any more until Christmas time. I'm gonna have to figure out where else I can get some of that. Just a splash of vanilla, a little bit, a little bit of salt. I took the lid off for some reason, but I, you just want to shake that in. Did you know that if you add salt to foods, they can actually end up tasting sweeter? Try that in your oatmeal. It's fantastic. Okay, now our sweetener is going to be a powdered sweetener that I use called Gentle Sweet. It is a blend of xylitol, erythritol, and stevia. There is a version that does not have the xylitol, and that is important because if you have dogs, it is toxic to dogs. So you want the non-xylitol version. You might be able to find Swerve in your store. What's awesome about this is it's already powdered. Often you hear me talk about Super Sweet Blend or Pure from the grocery store. That would lead this to be a little more grainy, like you put regular sugar in it. So this is already powdered. Do it to your taste, um, tablespoon and a half to two tablespoons for this version. I'll put the full recipe in the description of the video. And then you just mix it up. And it's going to become chocolatey, goodness, really, really quick. You see that? It's so good. All right, but how does it become like a crunch bar? Okay, well if you think of crunch bars, they are rice, like Rice Krispies, covered in chocolate, right? We're not gonna do Rice Krispies because that's not good for your blood sugar. We're gonna do pork rinds. What? Now, before this grosses you out, it doesn't taste like anything. I actually like to eat them now, but I used to think they were disgusting. Now I don't mind. But there's no carbs in that, and you just crunch them in, and it just adds crunch to what you're doing. So you just grab a few, crunch them. Get them kind of small. My last batch, I had some big chunks, and kind of don't want that. Okay. So now I'm messy. Whoops. Okay. So you just mix that in. And then you put them, you can, if you don't have anything to put them in, you can put them on a piece of wax paper and stick it in the freezer. That's how I used to do it. Then I got these cute little silicone cupcake molds from Ikea. And this is what they look like when they're done. I also found this guy. And so now I'm gonna kind of smear them into there. And so I have cubes, hopefully. Hopefully this works. I don't know. We'll have to see if they pop out. So that's it. But this is the chocolate that you end up with. Now, like I was talking about earlier, coconut oil kind of melts. You can't like have these sitting around at room temperature. You gotta keep them in there. If you keep them in the fridge, they'll be soft. If you keep them in the freezer, they're a little harder, but still edible. But, and you can't like walk around and hold them, you know, they're not M&Ms. The whole like melt in your mouth, not in your hands thing, which we all know is a lot. Anyway. But that's it, super easy. You could have chocolate like this 
in 15 minutes. They freeze that quick. So go make some. All right, share this video. Thanks so much, and I will talk to you again soon. Bye.